Five, four, three, two, one. Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here and welcome to a Clan War recap. Before we go ahead with everything though, let's go the question time winners from last episode. First place was uh, Unforgotten 2000, second place was Caesar Castro, third place was Fire Triple Swish 360 No Scope, and the wildcard winner was Dylan. So stay tuned for next question time to get your points and get featured in my next episode. So let's go ahead with the Clan War recap. Winner is underway with his attack um, using a drag loon strategy. Not often do we see this in Clan Wars in 10 or 8 lately in um, high end Clan War uh, clans, but we still see the drag loon sometimes, and that's a perfect case scenario to use them where the air defenses are quite close to together, bunched up like that, easy to knock out uh, with the dragons tanking in the front and the loons coming in sniping those air defenses out. Um, all in one go. So there we go. There, pretty much a town eight. Once the air defenses are down, as long as you haven't lost too many dragons at the beginning, uh, you pretty much got a three star with that drag loon strategy. Some people uh, just bring mostly dragons and drag uh, and loons in the clan castle, but uh, sometimes people bring a little bit more of their own loons. Uh, other than the clan castles. There's a three star by winner. Well done. A town hall eight, three star, good to see. So let's go ahead with the town hall nines now. Uh, there's not many town hall eights in my clan at the moment, so we're always looking for uh, max town hall eights or close to max town hall eights with maxed troops, especially uh, hog riders um, and at least uh, their dragons are maxed as well. So let's go ahead with this attack with Carhartt. This is pretty good. He kind of um, misses the wall break and drop because they get zapped by that whiz tower or, or I think they got sh maybe shot down by the small bomb but he uses that jump spell instead to get to that area where the arch queen is um, and also those double giant bombs. As you can see he's put the poison spell down onto the drag loon combination on the clan castle and got to eliminate the arch queen, the drag loon CC and the double giant bombs at the same time. So it's pretty good. Watch this deployment though. It's a really uh, patient, very patient this deployment is. You've got like four four hogs there, pretty small group there, and he's gonna put a heal spell um, in that intersection there. So watch here as he trickles them in really, re really conservatively and um, really patient with his spells. So um, he's, he's got two at a time on those archer towers. As you can see, as he trickled those hogs in, Two, a few few of those hog riders actually tripped over the giant bomb so um, he only lost a couple of um, hog riders which allows the rest of the hog riders uh, to knock out the rest of the defenses as you can see he's still being patient with the hog riders trickling them in um, being very patient waiting for the other hog riders to go to that area so he can drop the heal spell all in one lot and healing all the hogs at the same time so very awesome deployment by um, Carhartt with the hogs and a good recovery by losing those um, wall breakers and using the jump spell instead uh, to get to that arch queen and double giant bombs and kill the clan castle troops at the same time that's what you want with a goho so that's an awesome attack by Carhartt and here's another uh, awesome attack by spam cakes she's going to use the quad earthquake spell to open up the uh, areas where the two air defenses are, the Arch Queen, and also she'll be able to uh, lure that clan castle uh, at the same time. This is called the Max Attack, you would have seen this a few times um, on my channel. It's quite, it's fairly new, it's not too new. A lot of people have been saying, you know, One Hive has been using it for ages, but the, the first time I heard about it was from Moscri from Clashes that um, um, talked about it, and then clashing with Maddie probably like a month ago. Uh, when a few videos came out on it. So um, it's fairly new. Um, I'm sorry if it is not new, but um, a lot of people still don't know about it. And that's probably well, those videos that I made on the Max Attack are quite popular now um, because not many people have seen it yet. So as you can see, I uh, did the Rage Spell to knock out that Clan Castle and the Arch Queen. Use the heal spell on the Barbarian, not just to heal the Barbarian itself, the Barbarian King itself, but the Barbarians that he spawns. Um, so there's more lo longevity on those Barbarians to keep tanking um, for the rest of the army. So the Barbarians uh, can't die under heal spell unless they trip over double giant bombs 
Um, and if, you, if they're under heal spell, even an archer tower or a cannon can't um, knock them out in one go. So uh, that's why those heal spell is used. Um, and most of the spells are used on the kill squad. Uh, that's what's the difference between the max attack go lava loon than a standard go lava loon with rage spells and a jump spell and all that. So, um, and it, it also, it also um, cancels out any uh, jump spell expiration. So if, if the heroes and your kill squad take too long, to get to the jump spell then it won't just disappear you've already knocked down all those walls so it's easy to funnel your troops in and uh, it's quite an easy an easier way to do a go lava loon but it is still base specific i recommend level 15 heroes arch queen and the barbarian king for that strategy and um, at least the air defense is not too wide apart um, that you're trying to get to so you need at least two air defenses for that strat so odium Strat is pretty awesome as well. He's using another different version of Go Lava Loon. He's used two lightning spells and an earthquake um, to knock out an air defense. So that's uh, three air defenses left to go. So he's going to make a plan to knock out uh, the rest. Um, he's going to knock out two air defenses with the kill squad and he's probably going to tank that last air defense with one of the Lava Hound. So let's see what he does here. He puts a jump spell. Um, to get to that Arch Queen area. It's not a very good idea to put an Arch Queen near the air defense because uh, the attacker will be mostly trying to target that um, air defense if he's using an air attack. So uh, it's good to place the Arch Queen not near uh, double giant bombs and um, air defenses. So here we go, the Arch Queen's going in, knocked out the uh, dragon, and here comes the, the Lava Hound as expected uh, with that last air defense and see how he handled three air defenses before he sent in his um, his flying troops which is the loons and the lava hounds um, so there's a lot of patience a lot of planning it's a two-phase attack there and uh, he'd done it well so um, there's not many left he's got lava hounds still still running around uh, there's some problematic Teslas in the center, but look how many loons he's got left. There's so many. There's even golems still unpopped, and he pretty much smashed this base, and it's it was quite a pretty well-developed base too. They're number three, and he pretty much smashed that base. Uh, easy peasy, three-star for Odium. So really good to see the different um, Go Lava Loon strategy being used in different ways so it's awesome so let's go on to our last attack for the day thought i'd show uh, a town hall 10 attack uh if this is going to be using um a go go wipe on this uh, plus some a, a few hogs on this um base it's that it's similar to that uh famous square base except the corner is a little bit different and because of the extra walls they've decided to segment the the core area so you can't just smash the core area all in one go you kind of get held up by walls a little bit so it's a little bit better version of the uh, traditional square base that we're used to seeing um, just with that core area so um, so it's not too bad usually Visu would three star a base like this but I think that the segmentation in the center really helped this base be a little bit stronger than it would normally so um, so we've got the the heroes going in as you can see, the, the dragon's still alive. Um, the Arch Queen will eventually shoot that dragon down. The Barbarian King going to the right hand side of the Town Hall. Free spell on that Inferno Tower. And the Arch Queen is about to knock out the um, Town Hall along with some wizards. So there goes the Town Hall. There's a two star, 58%. Um, now, it doesn't look very good for a three star at the moment. Um, the core area with those walls segmented. Um, really helped this space out from getting a three star. Um, there we go. Um, really f level 40, level 40 Archer Queen now. Level 37 Barbarian King. Pretty awesome heroes that Ivisu has. So there we go. That's a pretty awesome, two pretty solid two star. Good percentage for um, a pretty good Town Hall 10. So let's go to score 53-45 to Exloil. Bangers Leap. This is the damage they did to us. Uh, not much, not really a three star clan. Uh, they did a lot of two star strategies um, and some easy peasy bases, including my little little mini account down the bottom there. So 
Uh, here we go, there was three stars, a couple three stars. We did have a little bit of 99% uh, fails, which was devastating. Uh, otherwise those three stars, uh, those two stars would have been three stars. But um, it happens guys, to the best of us. And so let's go on with the question time. Question, where in the world would you want to go on a holiday and why? Christmas coming around, if you could go on a holiday, where would you go and why? And I think I would go to Canada because I really, uh, I really like the cold. Um, Australia's really hot at the moment and it's getting to summer and I really don't like the summer heat right now. So Canada would be an awesome place to visit, um, do some snowboarding or something like that. People are pretty much uh, friendly. I reckon they're the friendliest people that I've met. Um, so I'm pretty keen to go to Canada so, Canada. so hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Smack that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And welcome to all the new subscribers that have joined lately from, um, uh, from the Clash of Clans page. Uh, shouting out two of my videos in, the, in, in one week, which is awesome. And um, hope you guys enjoy your stay. So smack that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys next episode. Later, guys.